Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you stopping by and I appreciate your time. Today I would like to share with you reasons why I decided to write my books. But before we get started, please do me a favor and hit the like button and the subscribe button so that I can bring you more videos like this. When I was about 15 years old at church, I had the leading role, role in a play. And it was the first time I realized that I had the ability and some talent in acting. And I saw how it touched the audience, the congregation. And I decided then I one day would love to write plays so that people can be helped and touched. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to be a writer. The second reason why I wanted to write a book is when I was in high school, I was such a procrastinator. I still am, <laughs> I'm not proud of it. So when I had to do a written report, I would wait to the last minute, sometimes the day before the written report was due. And I would research the subject and then I would cram the writing in and I would still get a B. So I thought to myself, girl, you must could write. So that's the second reason why I wanted to write a book because I thought I could. The third reason why I wanted to write a book or was because I was always journaling, especially <laughs> when uh, tough situations occurred in my life. I would, would journey, journal. And sometimes I would look back at the journal and realize just how far God got me through. And I thought, writing also is therapy and is healing. So that's the third reason why I decided to write the book. The fourth reason is the message, the story that I'm sharing in my books, the message was bigger than me. It was a God thing. And I had to write the book. And like that song, if I can help somebody, then my living won't be in vain. I felt my book is, is more, it's, it's not a testimony, it's a story. And I felt other people should read it. The fifth reason is I wanted to be an entrepreneur because when you write your book, you're the owner of that book. And depend on, depending on how you publish or not really publish, but how you promote yourself, you can become a bestseller. But it wasn't about me becoming a bestseller. It was more about me being able to push me. Because in my life, I always motivate other people. And I gave more and I gave less to me. And I wanted to promote me. I wanted to understand my worth, that my story was important and it matters. And also I wanted to heal the shame of the story. Or what I say shame? I'm not alone. Some of the things I went through, you've gone through it too. Or will maybe. So my story is relatable. And it drives conversations and dialogues. And I thought, that's good. So that's the fifth reason I wanted to write this book for you. The sixth reason why I wanted to write my story was 
I wanted to leave a legacy. By the grace of God, I'm going to live a long, healthy, prosperous, awesome life. But one day, God will call me home. And I wanted to leave a legacy. Because see, no one can tell your story like you can tell your story. People might think they know your story because they get bits and pieces of your story here and there. Or it's hearsay. Someone told this person, told that person. And you know how the story comes out. Usually it's not anything like the story or just a nugget of truth. And I wanted to tell my story the way that God wanted me to tell my story. And last but not least, I wanted my parents, which are not here anymore, to still make them proud, even though they're not on this earth, but they're in heaven. I wanted to make my parents proud and also always throughout my book as I wrote every step of the way because it is a true story though the names are changed I wanted to write the book the way God wanted me to write the book so my question to you is why do you want to write your book and I know there's so many of you out there because on the journey of writing my books and writing the third one, help, help me Jesus, I met so many people that were in the process of writing a book or thought about writing a book or shared that they wanted to write a book. So I know you're out there. So what drove me to writing my book? life circumstances sometimes it can your situation can bring you down so low that it almost I want to say encourage but forces you to do it because I'll be honest with you if my life was peaches and cream and it was comfortable I wouldn't have wrote the book but God had to allow me to, to really see the things and people around me. He had to light up a fire under me to, for me to do it. Because who wants to be uncomfortable? But being uncomfortable makes you stronger. If you keep your hand in God's hand. So find the reasons why you want to write your book. Write it down. Don't let years and years and years go by without you writing your book. Even if it's just for you, write your book. So my book's are on Amazon and I will write the link below and um, next week I will share a little bit more about my book and the things I share I'm not just sharing it for me I'm hoping that what I share help you we're all in this together I am NOT an expert not even close to an expert all I can say is that I pray throughout the way. <laughs> but so what I'm planning on doing, Lord willing, is once a week, a Wednesday or Thursday, I'll let you know that I will post something pertaining to me, um, my story or my steps or the things that I did. And like I said earlier, hopefully some kind of way. It will help you. So if you haven't so far, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. 
I will really appreciate it. Thank you and God bless you.